It's the annual Cowes' First Nation powwow. Uh, we have it in August. It's here on Cowes' First Nation in the beautiful Treaty 4 territory. It's a traditional powwow. Who comes to our powwow are citizens here that live at home, our citizens that live throughout the world, and a lot of visitors, not only Indigenous people, but non-Indigenous people. We all come together under our arbor for dance, for song, for laughter, for healing, a lot of food. It's just a, overall a very good positive feeling when you're here. <laughs> How is very significant in regards to the healing journey that we're on as well as to our aspiration on success. It all starts with the drum. The drum is about Mother Earth. When that drum is hit, Mother Earth's heartbeat is going. And then you got the singers. The singers have songs that have been handed down from generation to generation for centuries. And then you got the dancers and the different regalia, the different dance styles. Everybody sings together. And then you got your audience, the ones that can't dance. Maybe they're too young, maybe they're something just physical, could be older. Those, are like, those ones that can't dance will sit in the audience with respect and watch. And they take a lot of that energy and it helps them in life as well. So everybody who comes together under the arbor has a role to play. And when you're done and you leave the powwow, you just get this rejuvenated energy and you take it through life with you. Every one of us has a spirit. And then when your spirit is awakened and you get it through ceremony, it also comes with colors, it comes with animals, it comes with things around on Mother Earth. So sometimes that's put into your regalia. Like my, my spirit colors are the sun. So you see the regalia that I'm wearing kind of reflect the sun. Every dancer has its own spirit. Every spirit is different. And then every category. So I dance the prairie chicken, the men's prairie chicken. There's also other categories. There's men's fancy, men's traditional, men's grass. They all have different significance. Then you got your female. You got your female fancy, your female traditional, your female jingle. So there's all different kinds and every dance has a different story to it. And when the dancers are dancing, it's as if they're telling a story as they're dancing. And it's up to the audience to kind of watch that dancer and just kind of read the story. Some of the regalias that we have are are handed down from generation to generation. And the new ones that are coming up, they're gifted with outfits and they carry on and carry on. I know this one gentleman was gifted with a whole new outfit or a whole new outfit and he carried that on. And I think he probably passed it on too. So most of the regalia is all handed down and there's new, new ones that come up and it's called, a, I'm going into the powwow now. Uh, there's a called initiation and those ones are come out every year and they have new outfits and they carry these outfits till whenever maybe their babies and maybe their grandbabies will have it. For instance my grandson, uh, my son had an outfit so my grandson has it now so that's been handing down and I think they're over 30 to 34 years so they're pretty old and they still look new. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, uh, free time or, or volunteer time to put an event on like this, you know, and uh, that's why we have a powwow committee. They uh, hold two or three bingos a week, all volunteer time. Band members are behind them. We have a lot of support from our our band members, our neighboring band, Kakawishtahau and Chapway, Sakame. They all come and support us. It's a very good time in Canada right now to uh, understand Indigenous ways. We got the Truth and Reconciliation calls to action right now. Uh, so a lot of uh, Canadians are now more interested in the Indigenous ways, the Indigenous values. Us as Indigenous people never gave up our ways. We never lost our ways. Some of us have to be reawakened to it. But the importance of all Canadians and even ex international to understand Indigenous uh, ways there's ways to go about it. In every nation, and every organization that has Indigenous, there's usually an elder or a knowledge keeper there. That's a good start to go to that individual, provide them a little bit of tobacco and just give them, let them know that you're very willing to learn, you have questions. 
And once you open up that dialogue, it's all about relationship. It's not about trying to compete with one another when you're discussing our, our culture. It's about relationship. Once you understand that respect and that trust, you'd be amazed at how beautiful our, our culture is and our ideology and all of our values. If Canada and international can, can bring in more of our values, this world would be a more peaceful place. dancing since I was 10 years old and this is the first year I really took time off. Uh, to me it brings a lot of healing and you heal people like when you dance for them and people will come up to you or they come up to me and they will give me a secret can you dance for me you know because I'm not feeling well so that's what I do and I dance from my heart and that's where a lot of it has to come from is the heart. Something great about Indigenous people is we're always competitive. It's just in our spirit. It's a, it's a friendly competition, but uh, when you're out there, uh, you do compete with the ones around you. Uh, the judges come from the audience themselves. Sometimes they're handpicked, sometimes it's the audience as a whole. But it never ever overpowers the main purpose that we're here, and that's to dance for the people, that's to dance to heal, that's to dance to prosper. The competition just kind of gives it a little more spunk to it and gives you a little more drive when you get here that uh, you have a chance to actually win a little gift. Uh, most of the time it's monetary, but sometimes it is a gift. Here's our winner right here, Alvin Four Eyes out of Pie Pot. 500 in a jacket. Thank you. Second place. And Cortez Osborne, you were late for grand entry. Nah, no, I was kidding. <laughs> okay, good to see you. Where are you from, Cortez? Bozeman. Uh, Bozeman, that's why you're late. You're our difference. $300. Oh. This ain't a cheap thing, it uh, runs probably between 80 and 100,000 and that's all uh, fundraising. The band doesn't, doesn't give any money for this, so it's very important to our people, our band members to put this on every, every year. There is uh, different age, uh, gender, uh, categories, so little kids as long as they could walk. Uh, you're, uh, you're not supposed to carry a child in the arbor as the song goes because it's a ceremony as you're in that arbor. So as long as the kid could walk and then that kid comes in, sometimes they have regalia, sometimes they don't, but they pick up that beat. There's a beat to the, to the song. There's what you call an upbeat, a downbeat. There's many different things. And little kids pick that up at the little age and they carry it on. And so they go from tiny tot to a junior, to an adult, to a senior. We bring people here every year uh, and we have to make sure we have the area for them. You know, you're looking at probably a thousand or so people that are here tonight and uh, dancers, we're looking at between three and four or five hundred dancers, so we have to have have room and, and uh, it's an uh, honor for us for them to be here. Uh, the vendors pay, uh, they phone ahead and they pay a fee to be set up here and uh, usually every year it's pretty well the same ones that uh, we honor their, uh, their business because they're with us every year. So this has been going on for years now. It's like 
everybody comes into the community and helps out so there's like a lot of community-ness I guess you can say that comes together and we all make sure all our visitors are fed they're like you know we give them water there's a powwow here we enjoy them and it's just a really peaceful powwow for us and houses. The powwow means lots for us for myself because uh, like I mentioned earlier about bringing family together you know they come from all over uh, Alberta Manitoba and uh, it's family that uh, come come out here to visit and be with each other and bring the kids out and meet your grandkids and uh, it's uh, very important to us to, as native people to be together. I invite everybody to come to our powwow, enjoy the second week in August of a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So come out, come and enjoy, come and dance a song, come and sing a song, come and have a coffee with us. Powwow for me is like how an individual waits for New Year's. The, our our powwow celebration here on Cows is as, as the chief here. This is my New Year's. This is when our people come together. This is when we, we come and we share, we visit. Some we haven't seen for a year, some haven't been home for a couple years. We still have our spring ceremonies that in ceremonial we consider our New Year's, but this powwow particular, the Cows' First Nation traditional powwow, is my New Year's. I look forward to it every year and the three days go too quick, but it's a lot of fun and a lot of visiting. Oh, yeah.